Step into the iconic world of The Virginian, a classic TV series that has stood the test of time, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. What enduring qualities make this show a timeless symbol of the television landscape? It's a question worth pondering as we delve into the rich tapestry of storytelling that defined an era. The Virginian, a Western drama that unfolded on small screens in the early 1960s, offers a compelling narrative woven with elements of friendship, justice, and the challenges of frontier life. Amidst the vast landscapes and dusty trails, viewers found themselves immersed in a world where moral dilemmas were as prevalent as the scenic beauty that framed each episode. As you reflect on the Virginian, is there a particular scene or moment that has left an enduring impact on you? Perhaps it's a testament to the show's ability to resonate with audiences across generations, showcasing the universal themes that transcend the passage of time. Now, let's shift our focus to the fascinating tidbits that add layers to the Virginian's legacy. Did you know that the series, based on Owen Wister's novel, became one of the longest-running westerns in television history? Its success was not merely confined to ratings. Rather, it etched its place in the hearts of viewers through characters like the nameless Virginian and Trampas, embodying the spirit of the Old West. Before we conclude, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this beloved TV series. Your stories and recollections are the threads that weave the fabric of the Virginian's enduring legacy. Drop them in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. So, what enduring qualities do you think make this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry? Is there a particular scene or moment in this show that has had a lasting impact on you? Share your memories and stories in the comments below, and let's celebrate the timeless appeal of the Virginian. In the late 1980s, Medicine Bow, Wyoming, nestled in Carbon County with a population of about 9,000, set the backdrop for the enduring TV series. Lasting nine seasons, James Drury and Doug McClure held steadfast in their roles, yet the sheer episode count 149 made simultaneous appearances impossible. Noteworthy, too, is the series' brush with future Hollywood stardom. And a lister, then on the cusp of fame, graced two episodes, leaving an indelible mark. From the rugged landscapes of Wyoming to the on-screen camaraderie of Drury and McClure, the Virginian etched its place in television history, embodying the spirit of the late 19th century. Airing on NBC from 1962 onwards, The Virginian stands as U.S. Television's inaugural 90-minute Western. Its weekly slot, Wednesdays at 7.39 as p.m., was unwavering throughout the series' entire nine-season run. Amidst the Wyoming backdrop, this iconic show introduced an unconventional character detail in its inaugural season. In Episode 2, Woman from White Wing, viewers learned that Betsy, Judge Henry Garth's daughter, is adopted a fact discreetly revealed and left unexplored thereafter. The Virginian's enduring legacy, characterized by its extended format and subtle narrative nuances, solidified its place in television history. The Virginian, a groundbreaking TV series that aired on NBC from 1962 onwards, holds a unique record in television history. With the most 90-minute episodes of any series, it stands unrivaled in its extended format. The show's enduring legacy is marked by its consistent Wednesday slot at 7.39 as in p.m. throughout its entire nine-season run. One notable aspect is the series' introduction of unconventional character details. In its inaugural season, the Virginian revealed a discreet fact about Judge Henry Garth's daughter Betsy, being adopted a narrative nuance left unexplored thereafter. This added layer contributed to the show's distinctiveness amidst the rugged landscapes of Wyoming. Moving beyond the series itself, the fate of the lead actresses post-departure adds another intriguing dimension. Each of the three lead actresses, Roberta Shore, Diane Roeder, and Sarah Lane had only a limited number of roles after leaving the series. Shore had two appearances, Roeder had six, and Lane had three, marking a unique pattern in their careers. The source material for The Virginian also provides interesting insights. In the book, the ranch, known as Sunk Creek, is situated 270 miles from Medicine Bow. The Virginian's promotion to foreman leads to his move from the bunkhouse to his own home on the ranch. The dynamic between the Virginian and Trampas, marked by their non-friendship, takes a dramatic turn near the end of the book as Trampas meets an unexpected fate. The Virginian remains a pivotal piece in the history of television, not only for its narrative innovations, but also for its record-setting format. Its 90-minute episodes and subtle nuances continue to resonate, securing its place as a trailblazer in the world of Westerns. 
The Virginian, a groundbreaking TV series from the 60s, left a lasting mark with its unique approach to end credits. In a distinctive move, unnamed extras were listed with titles like The Man, The Wife, or The Lawyer. This unconventional method added an intriguing layer to the series, distinguishing it from typical TV credits. Among the notable guest stars, future Hollywood Alistair Harrison Ford made a significant impact by appearing in two episodes. His early contributions to the Virginian hinted at the star power he would later achieve in his illustrious career. One captivating aspect of the series is the mysterious identity of the main character, never revealed by an actual name. Known as the Foreman, the Ramrod, or simply the Virginian, this enigmatic approach permeates all forms of the Virginian, be it the book, movie, or television adaptation. These unique elements contribute to the Virginian's distinctiveness, making it stand out in the realm of 60s TV series. The use of unconventional end credits and the inclusion of future superstar Harrison Ford add layers of intrigue to this classic Western, while the enigmatic nature of the Virginian himself adds an element of mystique to the show's legacy. In the late Wedidita 90s, the town of Medicine Bow, Wyoming, set the stage for the groundbreaking TV series. Nestled in Carbon County with a population of about 9,000, it provided the backdrop for the Shiloh Ranch, the central setting of the show. Lasting nine seasons, the Virginian underwent a notable transformation in its final season. Renamed the men from Shiloh, it adopted an Italian Western style credit sequence, complete with a theme by the renowned Ennio Morricone. This change reflected the series' willingness to evolve and experiment even in its concluding chapters. One intriguing aspect involves the character Steve, portrayed by Gary Clark. In the 1962 TV series, his last name is consistently stated as Hill. However, in the 1946 film version, it was Andrews. The original Owen Wister novel and earlier film productions kept Steve's last name a mystery. This subtle inconsistency adds a layer of curiosity to the character's identity across different adaptations. The Virginian's journey from the pages of Owen Wister's novel to the small screen was marked by not just narrative innovations, but also an openness to change. The show's final season and the evolution of Steve's character exemplify its adaptability, making it a unique entry in the world of Westerns. As the sun sets on our journey through the dusty trails and untamed landscapes of the small screen's golden era, we find ourselves drawn to the timeless allure of an iconic series that left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. The Virginian, a true pioneer in the vast frontier of television storytelling, brought us tales of friendship, justice, and the wild spirit of the West. As we bid farewell to this classic gem, let the embers of nostalgia spark a conversation within you. What moments of the Virginian still echo in the corridors of your memory? Was it the camaraderie between the characters, the pulse-quickening showdowns at the Shiloh Ranch, or perhaps the subtle nuances that defined an era long gone? Reflect on the connection between the stories told and the stories lived in your own journey. In this digital campfire, share your cherished thoughts, your fondest memories, and the echoes of laughter that still reverberate in the chambers of your mind. The Virginian was more than a series, it was a shared experience that bound us together in the tapestry of television history. So, fellow wanderers of the small screen, let the keyboard be your campfire and your words be the sparks that dance in the night. We invite you to weave your narratives into the rich fabric of the Virginian's legacy, forging new tales as enduring as the ones we've come to adore. Thank you for joining us on this expedition through the annals of classic television. Your time and sentiments are the true treasures we unearthed along the way. Until our paths cross again in the vast expanse of storytelling, happy trails, and may your memories of the Virginian ride alongside you like loyal companions.